Um, so I have four pieces in the art show right now. Um, I spent a lot of time working on them. Uh, it's really great to have them here. Um, yeah. Uh, I've been doing art since, uh, I mean, as long as I can remember. I used to like draw on the walls when I was little and like draw on anything I had in, uh, on me. How long does a typical piece of art take you to create? Mm, depending on how big the art piece is, I usually take around 6 to like 20 hours. It's a big range. Uh, absolutely. Um, I'm planning on becoming an architect, and right now I'm a senior. Um, I have two pieces here. Um, they're both, I don't know, they're, I think they're pretty good. Um, but there's a lot of really great artwork here for my peers, too. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really good show. Really great turnout tonight, too. I've been making artwork my whole life. Um, I haven't really been taking it seriously until recently, though. Um, so, yeah. I do, yeah. I plan on majoring in industrial design in college, so pretty art related, yeah. How long does each piece take you to create? I could actually tell you one of the pieces here took 18 and a half hours, and the other one took 25. So they take a pretty long time, yeah. So I have three pieces here. Um, I'm technically in all of them, but um, they're all kind of different stages of my life because I've made them at different times. Um, the mask piece I made at the beginning of the pandemic, and I just wanted to kind of get out my emotions about how I was feeling about everything and how I'm sure a lot of people can relate to it. Um, my, the second piece I made was to um, encapsulate my relationship with my mother and, you know, how it grew over the time as I'm, you know, maturing in high school. Um, and then the most recent piece is of me on a phone, um, and it's acrylic. And um, I kind of wanted to do a revision of the first piece I did, but to make it more secretive and mysterious, I guess. So for the two acrylic pieces, I would say they took about 11 to 12 hours each total. And then for the digital piece I have, I would say that one only took me uh, two to three hours. Okay, how long have you been doing artwork for? Um, forever, technically, but seriously, since um, about seventh grade, I started getting more into taking classes at school, outside of school, and entering in galleries and stuff. Yes, I, I plan to major in architecture in college, so I hope to be able to kind of continue, you know, more of an observational approach to my drawings in the future. Yeah, sure. I have um, a total of four pieces. Three of them are colored pencil, and they're all in different um, kind of level, levels of expertise as I um, kind of grew as an artist, because I think process uh, work is very important. Um, and then my other one is a cut paper project with a bunch of different uh, faces of mine with um, depicting different emotions. And it's all in cut paper, meaning I like cut each individual shape out of paper and glued them together to um, build a face. And it's kind of about how we um, tend to have a lot of different emotions and we can kind of feel fractured sometimes as humans. And we tend to kind of dive deeper into our negative emotions rather than our positive ones. Um, and my other two are just, um, I have a piece of my old pet snake. Um, it's called Creation and I titled it because I think a lot of people think that snakes are disgusting and gross and scary and that's true. But they can also be, um, there are such creations of nature. And my last one is of my grandma. It's called Still Bright. Um, and I titled that because she has atypical Parkinson's disease, so she um, has trouble uh, communicating with a lot of our family and she can feel very frustrated. But uh, I wanted to do a portrait of her smiling and um, to show that we still see her in such a positive uh, light because she's very important to us. Yeah. How long have you been doing our work for? Ever since I was very small in elementary school, I've always kind of loved like different colors and shapes and animals for sure. 
Um, but in freshman year, I took a ceramics class with class with Mrs. K, uh, Chris Kellenberger, and she was so opening. She was so she was so open, and inviting. So I just kind of got into art more and practiced until I kind of got to a place where I knew my strengths. How long did each piece? Uh, how long does it take to create uh, these pieces? Ooh. Um, so obviously, as you increase in your skill, they will take less. Um, but say the um, the cut paper project one, each face took me about eight to twelve hours, which is a lot of work. Um, so I think having dedication and, and kind of the um, motive, like good motivations in art is very helpful to kind of persevere because projects can get very big. Absolutely. And you plan on doing more artwork in the future or in college? Yes. I'm, I also love storytelling and writing, so I want to combine the two in maybe film or um, animation or directing or anything like that. So I, I definitely like the kind of communicating stories and um, messages through art. Yeah, so I have four pieces up and um, a lot of them are like digital art pieces. They have lots of bright colors and they talk about like my emotions, like how I deal with my emotions and how I see my everyday experiences. Terrific. And uh, how long have you been doing artwork for? Pretty much my entire life, honestly. I've Art has come so naturally to me. It's just something that I do when I'm bored or like when I feel upset or when I feel really happy. It just comes naturally to me. And how long does it take you to create a piece of art? Honestly, it ranges. Like sometimes it takes me 10 minutes and sometimes it takes me like five hours. Like it really depends on like what I'm feeling in the moment. Yeah. Excellent. Do you plan on doing more art in the future as well? Definitely. I really want to do art in college and then I also want to be like maybe an illustrator, a graphic designer in the future. Sure. So I have some artwork that I made in Adobe Photoshop over the past few months in AP Art and Design and it's been a really fun class getting to make artwork and I've really enjoyed my experience and think I've produced some solid work. Absolutely. Uh, how long have you been doing artwork for? Uh, about a year and a half I've been doing work in Adobe Photoshop, messing around and kind of having fun and playing with it. And In class I started to do some more serious things and work on projects more diligently and this is what I came out with. Uh, usually around like two weeks of working on it in class and at home somewhat, and sometimes a little bit longer, shorter, depending on the project. Excellent. Is this something you're going to carry on in the future as well? Uh, I'm hoping to, yeah. Sure. So most of my artwork centers around cultural themes, specifically my relationship with heritage and, you know, a lot of motifs and imagery from Chinese culture. and. Most of my pieces are focused on folklore, ancestral history, as well as uh, landscapes and symbols of my childhood. And how long have you been doing artwork for? Um, I've been drawing and kind of messing around with art ever since I was really little. I guess I really started focusing on art. Uh, when I entered high school and um, AP Art, which is the class I was in, really kind of pushed me to accelerate my art journey. And uh, how long does it take you to, uh, how long does it typically take you to create a piece of art? Um, it can take anywhere from like a day to like a few months. It kind of depends on what the art piece is. Excellent. Is this something you plan on doing in the future as well? Definitely. Art is an amazing hobby and a really fun passion of mine and I'll definitely be continuing to engage in it. Um, so most of my work is 3D. It's all like fabric and uh, I'm going into fashion design so it's mostly all that. Um, and my work is just like showing the process work of uh, you know how I make my work and you can see all the hems and everything so I'm really excited that it's up and yeah. <laughs> Um, honestly, I've been sewing for like only a year or two, but uh, I've always been really interested in fashion. Um, yeah, I plan on going college for either fashion design or fashion business. Um, it, it really varies. Like, um, I think the uh, skin, like the bag, it took about like it took probably up to 12 hours. I didn't do it like all in a row, but it took a while, yeah. Here today? 
Yeah, so I have a painting piece um, that I did uh, a lot based on uh, my self-consciousness and internal thoughts. And I kind of want to express some of what goes through my mind uh, when I compare myself to other people. And I want to express myself through my painting to try and overcome some of that. Um, and my other piece, my lighting piece, is based off of plankton. I was inspired a lot by the shapes of uh, plankton and uh, microscopic bioluminescence. And my third piece is a clock. Um, and I was inspired a lot by the moon and galaxies and I wanted to emulate that um, by way of a clock because I think it's beautiful how the moon goes through phases and uh, goes through time. Um, I mean, officially been doing art as part of an art program for five years now, um, but I've been doing art by myself for as long as I can remember. Um, it really depends. Um, usually my painted pieces five plus hours, um, but it depends greatly on the size and uh, scale of my artworks. And is this something you plan on doing in the future as well? Um, yes, as a hobby. I don't want to do it as a job, um, but it's something I enjoy. It's a massive stress relief for me. So I would love to continue doing this as a hobby. Um, I'm really lucky to have such a talented group of a group of kids to work with. Um, they're kids; they're almost adults. But um, so tonight we've got um, Annalise Curl, who um, did this amazing cut paper piece that has to do with all of the stresses and the pressure of um, how we deal with emotions and things like that. Um, there are. There's lots of different media represented this year, which is really exciting. Kevin Gu is an artist who um, works in two dimensions, but he also he works with traditional media as well as digital media. Um, and he combines things to kind of loosely tell a story and as an exploration of his cultural her heritage um, and his connection to his family, which is pretty cool. Um, Connor Grady is here. His work um, is a really interesting blend. I've been watching him grapple this year with um, structure and the human form as well. So he's a car designer. So his, I think, natural instinct is probably to render um, in an architectural style. He's going to go to school for architecture. Um, but working the human form into that and then figuring out the difference and the, the structure that's underlying in, within the human form. So that's cool, too. Um, Anwen is uh, an incredibly thoughtful, talented designer, and she's been deconstructing um, garmentry to understand how things are made, but also she's really interested in the sustainability of um, fashion. So she's been using all um, secondhand materials to create things that are sort of evocative of um, her feelings about, about fashion, about the human form, about all sorts of stuff. So. Um, yeah, there's a, there are a lot of really talented kids here. Um, I could talk about all of them. Um, I could kind of wax poetic all night. <laughs> Absolutely, and um, you always got to be impressed when you just see the tremendous work they put up. I don't think most people would know if it's a high school student or a professional artist that does this for a living, in my opinion. Thank you for saying that. I'm incredibly proud of them for their hard work and for their vision and their intuition and for trusting me um, to kind of guide them on a journey of uncertainty. Because when you jump into a class that, you know, you're making work based on a question. And sometimes you don't even know what that question is when you start. But at trusting that your energy and your um, own making and asking questions and answering them and responding to what you're doing will lead you somewhere is pretty cool. So I feel very fortunate and um, very excited for these guys. I can't wait to see where they go next.